Hey, hey, it's Janina here. So, kung bago lang kayo sa channel ko, baka hindi nyo pa alam na nag-homeschool ako for 7 years. And actually, when I look back on those 7 years, they probably were the best 7 years of my life. Kasi dahil nag-homeschool ako, nagkaroon ako ng time to discover and to explore different hobbies, kung ano ba yung gusto kong gawin talaga sa buhay ko. Ang dami ko rin natutunan ng mga life skills like independence, self-discipline, responsibility, resourcefulness, and just learning to trust my Myself. Alam ko lahat tayo na bigla sa sitwasyong to hindi pa tayo handa ang dami pang kulang like supplies, gadgets, preparation time for both our teachers and, and our students. And you know, I have a I have all of my opinions on all of those. <laughs> but I guess regardless of my opinions, it's happening. So today I will share five tips that helped me get through my homeschool years. At tinawagan ko rin si Kuya kasi nag-homeschool rin siya at nag-graduate siya with honors. So I asked him to help me out with this video. So let's get started. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nate and here are our five, five tips, tips for, for online classes. classes. is to stick to a strict morning routine. Study show. Wow, study show. <laughs> okay. Um, can I, can <laughs> okay, I finish okay, now? Okay, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> so studies show that completing tasks in the same order repeatedly builds brain power and supports mental health. Your cortisol levels or your alertness hormones are highest one to two hours after you wake up. So wag muna kayo mag-coffee pagising nyo. Give yourself time and your body's energy from your sleep will kick in. Pagising ko, bababa ako kaagad para pakainin si chicken and also to let her outside to, you know, to poo or to pee. <laughs> I like to do this first so that I can start moving right away to wake myself up. Then I do my personal devotions and then, importante to ha, I take a shower and then I make my coffee. Alam ko, isa sa mga benefits para sa atin ng online school ay pwedeng hindi na lang tayo maligo. Aminin nyo, hapon na kayo naliligo, no? Hey, I shower in the morning, ah. For me, it's okay. kind of like telling your body, Hey, wake up! It's it's time to work. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I actually shower twice a day. So. Yes, he does! Yeah, okay. Me too! Hi, Tapao. Hello. Hello! <laughs> okay, I have to give a tip na. It's my turn. Okay, so yung Pomodoro technique naman, it's a time management framework that they say it improves your focus and productivity. So, hahatiin mo lang yung isang oras into four segments. The first one is 25 minutes of straight working. Like, you don't allow yourself to be distracted by anything else. And then five minutes of break. Then 25 minutes of sprint again. And then five minutes of break. And then the process just keeps repeating. So, if you want... Pwede kayong gumamit ng mga apps or timers on the phone. Um, I think there's one literally called Pomodoro. So, try that one. Actually, ginagamit ko lang yung phone timer ko to count up to 25 kasi ayoko yung tunog ng alarm. <laughs> um, but during my breaks, dahil pagod na yung utak ko from studying, kung magsa-social media ako for a break, I try to stay away from sites like Twitter or like Facebook dahil mas mapapagod lang yung utak ko from the information overload. So, I prefer... TikTok or YouTube or chatting with friends to really give myself a break. It's also important to designate your workspace and your rest place. So spend your 25 minutes uh, on your table or on your desk and then your 5 minute break somewhere else. Pwedeng higa muna kayo sa kama or sofa, lakad lakad lang sa, sa paligid. So just you don't confuse your body. Best not to work in your bed or to rest on your desk. Maybe you've heard of the Learning Pyramid by William Glasser. Basis sa pyramid, the average student retains 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we see and hear, 70% of what we discuss, 80% of what we do, and 95% of what we teach. So what you can do is you can take advantage of the 50% retention by listening intently in class, by looking at the slides as well as listening very intently and not letting your mind wander to your phone or social media and then you take bullet points on a gadget para mas efficient and then later you can take advantage of the 80% retention by rewriting your notes on a notebook para may repetitive flow ng information out and in 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 come on join me out and in out and in okay fine
Dahil nung homeschooled ako, wala akong kausap so wala akong ka-discussion for the 80%. Pero ngayon na nasa quarantine tayo, wala rin tayong matuturuan for the 95%. So, ito yung loophole ko. So, instead of just reading aloud, I pretend to present. So, kung baga, hindi siya mitochondria sa powerhouse of the cell. It becomes, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So then I kind of retain information a little bit better. Or, you can also have a super loving wife who will let you teach her. Isang malaking sana all! If you have the means, curating a good workspace is also something you can do. Actually, ginalaw-galaw ko yung room ko para nakatapat yung desk ko sa bintana. Studies show that if you work in sunlight, you'll be significantly, significant, <laughs> significantly more alert, less drowsy, thereby increasing productivity. A clear workspace makes for a clear mind. Pero dahil wala akong sariling desk, uh, nag-work lang ako sa dining table namin. And an easy tip is to still use a bag to keep your school supplies in and then store whatever you're not using and then take out only what you really need so that there's not a lot of clutter. school ako, minsan nagsistudy ako sa mga coffee shops. Pero syempre, maingay doon so I like to drown out the noise with music. But I listen to music na walang lyrics. According to research from the Cambridge... Hello? Hello? Hi. According to... Our... Hi, chicken! <laughs> Guys, alam niyo naman. Buhay work from home. This is how it is. ASMR, dog ASMR. According to research from the Cambridge Sound Management, noise in general isn't the biggest hindrance to productivity, but how clear and intelligible the words are that forces us to shift our focus from our studies to the lyrics or to whoever is talking. Also, try to only listen to that specific playlist when you're studying and no other time to form that association in your mind. So listen during your work time and then turn it off during your break time or you can play something else. Wag niyang gamitin yung favorite songs or favorite playlists niyo na tinutugtog ni lagi because researchers from Fu Jen University in Taiwan found that when workers strongly liked or strongly disliked the music that they heard, they became more distracted by it. Um, that's me. I always listen to this particular playlist on Spotify. It's called Love You the Same by Jenny Novella. No, that would fall in the strongly disliked category. Well, it's strongly liked for me. Thanks, Kuya. <laughs> so it's actually called Jazz for Study. And funny enough, I found out that my dad listened to the exact same playlist when he was taking his masters. Gusto ko tong playlist dahil instrumentals lang siya. So wala siyang lyrics, so hindi ako naguguluhan kapag nagbab nagbabasa or nagsusulat. Ako naman, I like to go on YouTube and search the keywords chill, lo-fi, hip-hop beats for studying and working. Yung mga ganun, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. There are also, most of the time though, I like to listen to house, um, to EDM. Uh, it's a bit loud, but I don't know, it gets me into the hyped up mood where, you know, it's time to work. So if you search Nate Punzalan on Spotify, you can look at my profile and the playlist Ultra Work 2 is public. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sana naman may natutunan kayo at nakatulong naman kami. Comment down below if there's a tip that you think you might use. At comment rin kayo kung may mga ibang tips kayo kung paano maging productive during quarantine. Don't forget to subscribe to my kuya. He just posted like a kitchen DIY with Ate Pao, his wife. That's so weird talaga, his wife. Bago tayo mag-end, may last encouragement lang ako kasi baka meron sa inyong you've always wanted to do something. It could be, I don't know, vlogging, learning a new instrument, learning to dance, or graphic design, or something like that. Pero never nyo yung sinubukan dahil, I don't know, wala kayong time, or natatakot kayo sa mga sasabihin ng friends mo. I'm just saying that if you try it now, and, you know, you fail, nobody will see you fail. <laughs> I can't tell you how many awful, you know, vlogs I just scrapped, or songs that I just never posted because they were fails. I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't be afraid of failure because failure brings us a step closer to success. And I wouldn't be here today without the failed vlogs or the songs or the TikTok dances that never made it to social media. So yeah, don't be afraid of failure. Anyway, I will see you guys next week for episode 7 of Trendsetter and let's all be a little kinder. Bye! Okay, okay, time. Okay, ready, go.
No, 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 take it from us. <laughs> I'm just 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 I'm just